Hello everybody, this is Starman, and welcome to what will likely be the final chapter of Let's Play Quest for Glory 5 Dragonfire The Thief Path. Well, we've had a long road getting here, and I have just finished emptying my chest of uh, well, my backpack and filling my chest of everything we don't need for the rest of the game. Although it did just occur to me there is one thing we won't need anymore, but I did. Uh, not put back in here, because I never bothered taking it off before. There we go. Anyway, I've got all of my extra gear, I've got all of my weapons back upon me, and I just realized I have an extra magic helm that I don't need, so let's go ahead and run out and sell that off. Because there's really not much for us to do at this point, except for wait for the assassin. But there is one thing that we need to do before that that is easily overlooked, so I'm being very careful about not doing what triggers the assassin coming after you. And I won't reveal what that is just yet. Hero man go water place. Elsa not go water place. Hero man do good, bring peace. Toro not swim. Elsa no go water place. Elsa no hold breath too long. Minos try get magic breath thing but no find. Minos mad. Good luck, hero man. And yeah, this is the point where you can finish romancing Arana or Katrina and pay a visit to them and give them the rest of their gifts. You'll note I also wound up selling all of my healing potions and vitality potions and or uh, pills and switch them out for potions because the all-in-one healing is about to become a bit more vital. I could actually get more, but uh, no reason. Anyway, with that last bit of excess loot done, we can go ahead and sleep until morning. Hey, Prince, wake up. I need to speak with you again. I'm heading back to Minos Island. I now know where I can find the proof that he's guilty. I just want you to know who to blame if I don't come back. And wake up. So at this point... We'll drop everything. These flowers are lovely, although rather crushed by your backpack. I guess I should thank you for them. I'm not used to anyone giving me such a simple gift. I am grateful. And yes, I am going a bit overboard. You give me this? This is a gift that I will gladly accept. You understand my warrior's heart. I thank you fully. You give me this? This is a gift that I will gladly accept. You understand my warrior's heart. I thank you fully. You give me this? This is a gift that I will gladly accept. You understand my warrior's heart. I thank you fully. And we can give this to her later, I think, but... What need have I of this? No, thank you. Okay, so now... Minos and I have been getting into many arguments lately. He is learning that I do not follow his orders. He wants people to obey him without question. I do not like Minos, nor do I trust him. I saw something in Minos' treasure room that looked like the Prophecy Stone. If it is the Prophecy Stone, then that means that Minos is behind all the breaking of the Dragon Pillars. I don't know what he's up to yet, but I intend to find out. 
These rides will soon be over. They have been difficult and dangerous. It may well be that you will win and I shall lose. Still, I regret nothing. It has been most interesting working with you and against you. Of course I shall be careful. I am not an inexperienced fool, as you should know. Still, it is good that you care for my safety. You are a fine hero. And the big one? You love me? Do not say such things unless you mean them. We will meet again. I am certain of that. Farewell. But finally, after we say we love her and give her all the gifts? This is not the time for such things. I care for you deeply, I will admit. You are a friend as well as a hero. From the moment we met in Spielburg, I knew you were a man I could respect. Now I know you are the man that I love. However, things are very dangerous. It is possible that neither you nor I will survive what is to come. Let us be heroes first, then, and lovers afterwards. I am very proud that I love you and that you love me. We will meet again. I am certain of that. Farewell. And I did not mean to jump on the bed, but... Uh Okay, you have to wait for her to leave, and then we automatically go back to sleep. And awake much refreshed the next morning. And yeah, as I noted, it is vitally important that you go to bed and trigger these events, otherwise there's no way to romance Elsa. We're having goulash. You don't want to know. You really don't want to know. All right. So nothing left at this point but to make ourselves a target. this by running across the bridge, past the guild hall, although I think we have to actually come from the docks for it to happen, like with uh, Ugarte. Hey, you know, let's go check in with Andre, see if he has anything to say. Calimera. Nothing new. Although we could get some anchovies for old time's sake, but we won't. And does Folos have anything sexist to say? No? Will the famous adventurer give us the going away speech I remember him giving? Not so much. Okay. Good to see you again. And what the heck, long as we're here. Hey, thanks! Hey, thanks! This will really help me keep... So yeah, we just spent all of our savings on healing and vitality potions. We will really not need these, but what the heck. We're helping boost the economy, and I'd rather give money to Salim and Julinar than the banker. Welcome. May I entice you with some tasty treat? Not this time. Greetings.
Greetings! And nothing from Sarah. No much. And nothing from Wolfie. So, let's just go ahead and run past the Adventurers Guild. Coming from the docks. Which is, as far as I know, the only way to trigger this event. Which it's a bit weird with all of the stuff that you can miss accidentally. This fact that there's something that you can trigger or not trigger. And now that I think on it, it may have to be later in the day before you can do this. Uh, the thieves do sleep in. Welcome. You have fulfilled my finest dream. I am happy to see you. Uh, maybe we need to get this I conversation too. I know that I you. cannot trust you. You want the Blackbird as badly as I do. However, I have it, and you cannot get it. So I can afford to be pleased with you. You sure about that, Sparky? The Blackbird is securely placed in my house. All of my trusted guards are there and they're looking forward to killing any thief foolish enough to walk into the trap. Even if a thief gets by the guards, he cannot take the black bird. The minute the bird is moved, an alarm will go off. Thus, there will be no chance that I will lose my most prized possession. Uh -huh. It is always gratifying to have something that someone else wants. I hope my warning is sufficient. I would regret it if you tried to take the black bird back. You will fail, and I shall mourn you, my friend. Uh huh. All right, let's go ahead and try this one more time. See if Orestes has anything to Good say. Good evening, matey. What can I be doing for you? Happy to see you, dead men tell. All right. Adventures Guild closed for the night. Okay, well... Just for the heck of it. Ooh, it's always nice. I'll be happy to serve you. The nice thing about... It's so sad to see you go. Welcome to the... I've always admired... If you want to play the... I'll be happy to see you whenever you return. And yeah, less flirtatious dialogue because we are in fact an engaged man now. And yeah, the guy in the shadowy corner is no longer there. We, I did win the Grand Championship.
Ah, here we go. Man, I should have killed you and Elsa both in Spielberg the first time. You screwed me. Gotcha. This time, you don't get away from me. <laughs> You're dead meat. You killed me. I can't believe it. I ain't telling you nothing. At least I'll die knowing you're hosed. Yeah, when except... When you die and go to Hades, tell him Bruno sent you. But I did take a poison cure pill. Batman dead. Good for you. Should have died long time ago. Much better for all. You okay? Not look good. The world goes black as you pass out from the poison. I hope you are feeling better. You have been given Salim's latest anti-venom for the poison. He believes with the knowledge you have given him, this will cure the poison. So the assassin is dead, and his master is still unknown. I know whom you suspect. However, we cannot act without real proof. You said that this Bruno mentioned Elsa von Spielberg's name, and obviously knew her from her homeland. Yep. Yet the assassin was avoiding Elsa, rather than just killing her, even though it risked his secrecy to do so. Again, this points suspicion to one person behind all this. Howard Johnson. Minos. Oh. Minos has always acted as a man of integrity. He has been a trusted member of the Council to the King for many years. If this is a power play on his part, then he is a most subtle and devious man. What do you suggest we do in this matter? Well, I'm a more subtle and devious man, so... I have an idea. Trick him into confessing. You suggest that we tell Minos that Bruno confessed before he died? I do not lie easily or very believably. What kind of politician are you? This, you will need to confront him with this deceit. I shall announce that this rite has ended. We will see if Minos dares to show up. If Minos is involved, then unless Elsa von Spielberg is also a part of this conspiracy, she will be in danger if she learns anything. I sincerely hope that she will be careful. Let us hope she will show up for the end of the right. You are informed by the guards you'll be summoned from your bedroom at the end in the end time for the conclusion for the end of Right of Justice. And you'll note we now have a poison dagger. Escorted. Guard sees drawn weapon and prepares to defend himself. You are summoned to the Hall of Kings. Hey, hey. Silmaria has suffered the afflictions of war, invasion, and regicide. People have been murdered on the streets, and we were helpless to stop the assassin's poison. By the rights of rulership, we have peace. Now it is time that we have justice as well. The assassin of our king has been justly punished for his crimes. The Prince of Shapir has completed that portion of this rite. It is now his duty to complete this rite. Prince of Shapir, who is it that hired the assassin? Who is it that started the war between those of Atlantis and ourselves? Who hired the mercenaries? Who had the king killed? and all the other victims of the assassin. Say the assassin confessed. So, Bruno confessed before he died? And you believe an assassin's word against my reputation? We did not mention the assassin by name, Minos. Then enough of this! I will rule Simari despite your foolish contests! I have the prophecy stone in my possession. One by one, I have fulfilled the omens of destruction. 
You will crown me King of Silmaria, or I shall release the doom that befell Atlantis, and the dragon will destroy you all! Guards, seize him! Well, hurry! You know, don't, don't hustle or anything, guys. Prince of Shapir, I rely upon you to stop Minos. If Minos breaks the Prophecy Stone, then Selmaria will be devastated and Atlantis completely destroyed. I will seek what allies I can find, but time is critical. I will send you directly to Minos on the fastest ship Selmaria has. Go now, and may the Furies of Vengeance ride with you. You are led to a small, fast sailboat that swiftly launches into the sea. The wild winds drive you onward to face Minos directly in his fortress home. You must now find a way to dis prevent Minos from destroying the Prophecy Stone. And this may look oddly familiar. Now, we can just fight our way through this. Certainly we're powerful enough at this point. And in fact, this is what the game expects you to do even if you're a thief. You know what? I'm going to be a thief to the bitter end. Because there are a few bits about this final level, which even though it's recycling the Steal the Blackbird level, uh, they changed it up to where it is impossible for you to stealthily enter the castle. Such as myself, I can even sneak past this gate wearing glowing magic armor. And carrying a big ass dragon slaying sword. if you can get up onto the portcullis, the guard there will see you no matter how sneaky you are. For some odd reason, you can't pick the lock of something that doesn't have a lock. If you could open this gate easily, you wouldn't have to read this stupid message. You ram the gate with all of your incredible strength. The goons will stupidly stand here as we fight them one at a time, of course.
Well, now it'll let me go up the cliff. But yeah, even if you try sneaking up here, there will be a goon guard that spots you. Although, there's no reason why we actually have to go down and sword fight this one. Keep having to fight goons until we can get through this door anyway. I think you have to fight five or six of these guys before it'll finally let you go through. Here's the crazy part. After all this, I think it'll let us sneak in at this point. But that somehow gets the attention of that guard. I guess this is a two centaur island after all. And yeah, the wizards aren't going to throw anything at us. The goons are just going to very slowly walk over here. Like I said, I don't think they had the time to code this properly to give the thieves a proper way out, but what the heck. And he's still not locking his vault. This gate is locked and they took away my equipment. So, you have made it all the way here, despite my guards and protections. You really are a most persistent hero, aren't you? You would have actually made a good king of Silmaria. Pity you are the very instrument of Silmari's destruction. That is, of course, unless you die. God! You idiots! Get in here! Okay, first things first, we need to get Elsa to help us. This small box is filled with neatly organized lockpicks and tools. Thank you. I will disarm this trap quickly. Do what you can. And I'm now heavily overloaded and fighting three on one villains. There's no time for talk now. We must do what must be done. Now it's my turn to get even here. Slightly more fair odds here. Or 
Goro's evil brother, it looks like. What do you? You are mistaken. I will not be defeated. I will destroy everything and you both will die. I hold the prophecy stone in my hands. When it breaks, the dark dragon will rise to destroy all of Silmaria. If I cannot rule what is rightfully mine, then I shall destroy it. You cannot stop me. No one can stop me. I am your doom. is as dead as he can be. I do not think many will mourn for him. He has done his best to destroy Silmaria. Unfortunately, he may have just succeeded. I fear we are in very big trouble now. And it won't let me save at this point. But we can start looting corpses. More amulets, more health potions, and another poison dagger. Look what I found. We may need these soon. Yeah, we might. More importantly, I'm going to need one of these soon. And this time, it does remember the trap, but uh, if you use the fire uh, potion beforehand, it won't do anything. And we got mana potions. And once we take those... My friend, the Dragon of Doom has awakened. We must stop it before it destroys Silmaria. By the grace of goodness, I summon thee to darkest battle. We can't defeat that monster by ourselves. We need more help. I shall summon he who is most willing to fight at your side then. Fight with Elsa! Oh, Toro, I really didn't want you here. I guess we'll just face this death together. I fight the dragon. I be hero too. Alright. I'm gonna save here because this fight gets kind of tricky. But there's a lot of things we can do to make this a lot easier. First one being... We give... Ooh, fine. And I think we can give Elsa the sword at this point. But ask Tora to help us fix the pillar. Because the pillar won't do anything, or we can't kill the dragon unless the pillar is standing. What is going on? Why is the dragon just standing there? And I'm trying to get to Toro to work to help fix the pillar. Need help. Most of my magic will be to This is not working! 
dragon is not taking damage. It is not truly on this plane of existence now. Unless that dragon pillar binds it to the earth, we will be unable to harm it. We must restore the pillar. Yeah, I should have grabbed Gort first. Time was of the essence, the dragon would arise, nothing could stop it if it took the skies. And nothing did stop it, you could not end its flight, and Somaria now weeps in defeat in its blight. I told Gort to help fix it. Wait, is he there? No, he is there. And we're gonna have to use our potions to heal everybody. And I thought I had two poison daggers, but I only had one, but I did just try throwing it at the dragon. That seems to have done pretty substantial hit to it. is in my way. The cave roof is starting to collapse. The dragon is breaking free of this cavern. Silmaria will be destroyed. Villa. <laughs> What I'm doing. I already have this creature's attention by my side. Need help. Okay, there we go. Destroyed. 
Okay, Let's I need to start. Let's that monster. I think I got a little too focused on healing everybody. I shall be honored to do healing. of this cavern! Silmaria will be destroyed! to do healing. Last potion. As you can Let's see, that monster. this would be a lot easier if the fighting system was not as simple as just keep clicking. And I don't think the poison dagger does anything, even though it's supposed to be a one-shot...
I switch to my dagger? Outright refusing to let me click on it or detect my hits. We will have time to mourn for Gort after this. First, we must all defeat this monstrosity. And yeah, it is possible to slay the dragon without anybody dying, but. At this point, given how glitched this is, I think we'll be lucky to beat it. And yeah, you can ask somebody to sacrifice himself, which knocks out half the dragon's health, but... I'm a hero. I want to try and save everybody. But I think we're going to be stuck with uh, Toro having made a noble sacrifice. And lava rains down on the entire island and kills everybody. Huzzah! We did it! The dragon is destroyed forever! I will always miss my dear Toro. I will never forget him. This victory will always be painful. That dragon has paid for the pain he has given. My prince, we have won. Mm. Let's get back to Silmaria. We need to celebrate our coronation. Oh, that was kind of cold-hearted, but, um... Yeah. Anyway, Rakish and Shaka are back the because we saved them. Erasmus is fine because we saved him. Here are the heroes him. who have saved Silmaria. They have freed our fishing villages and driven the invaders off Marit. They have defeated the general of the mercenaries and made certain that they will never return to Silmaria's shores. They have dared the depths of Hades and proved their courage and valor. They have brought us peace with Atlantis and made the sea safe for boats and travel. They have brought the unjust to justice and made the murderers pay for their crimes. They defeated the Dragon of Doom and the prophecy of Silmaria's destruction will not come to pass. These are the ones who averted this dire fate. These are the heroes of Silmaria. One person has proven himself beyond others. He has shown again and again the true meaning of heroism. He has earned the title of Hero in Four Lands and again in ours. Selmaria has never had someone more fitting to sit upon her throne. Prince of Shapir, will you bear the burden of our crown? Will you become the next king of Selmaria? Well, you have options here. But come on. I want the money, the power, and the girl. Behold, the new king of Selmaria. The new king of Silmaria and I have an announcement to make. He and I have agreed to be married. Then Selmaria will have a worthy king and a worthy queen. Congratulations, both of you. Long live the king! Where's well, Elsa? Mages, it be the time to say the name of the next chief. It were a tough battle, and the bitten stakes were high. But it all comes down to the Blackbird. The person with the real Blackbird be leader of us all. 
then it seems that I am now the chief thief of Silmaria. I have the Black Bird. Drop your anchor, me buckle. There's more than one Black Bird. Only the real one will do here. I have the real one. I've made certain of that personally. Oh, did you now? Then I think you should be checking your bird again. What are you talking about? This is... No. It cannot be. This cannot be a fake. How? The new chief thief of Salmaria will be the one with the real Blackbird. Oh, so you outwitted Ferrari. You are such a clever man. What? what uh, hold on. I'm a married man. I No, I, I did not agree to this. Yeah, as I hmm. said... It seems that you've gotten the better of me this time. I'll know not to underestimate you the next time we deal with one another. Congratulations. The Thieves' Guild will be very interesting with you as chief. I look forward to your leadership here. You did it! You won! Yeah, as I said, they presume that if you're a thief, you're going to go with Noir. But the results do not uh, go unspoken of for themselves. 1,000 puzzle points. And I believe we maxed out everything. And you are given the option to save your Quest for Glory 5 character. But it uh, doesn't do you much good because as of yet, nobody has done anything that will let you import this character. As far as I know, at least no official Sierra games were released. Uh, Lori and Corey Cole have gone on to make some games in the same spirit as Quest for Glory, but have not been able to buy back the rights to the original franchise, alas, alack. But, uh... That, in a nutshell, was Quest for Glory 5, The Thief Path. And, you know, I complained and groused about the glitches and how the thieves get shortchanged, but you know what? It's still a solid game, I still love them, and this is still uh, my favorite adventure game franchise of all time, all these years later. So I thank you for coming with me on this adventure, and toughing it out through an admittedly difficult last chapter. So, uh, what do you think for the next adventure? Should I maybe look at some of the next... Uh, Lori and Cory Cole adventure games? Should I try and go back to Fallout? Should I do something else entirely? Something a bit more current? Or do something a bit more old school and maybe go back to some of the LucasArts adventure games that we have not uh, looked at yet? Because we've done almost all the Monkey Island games, but there is one we have not done yet. You know, I have not done the Zack McCracken game or some of the fan-made uh, Zack McCracken sequels, which I've rather wanted to check out. There is all the Pathfinder games and the D&D games. You know, a lot of options. In fact, uh, one thing I had been thinking about doing is that now that they've come out with remastered editions and I have a better rig for recording them, I had thought about going back and redoing uh, Noctropolis and the Blade Runner adventure games, which were some of the ones I first did when I first got into doing Let's Play videos. And another one I had uh, briefly considered going back and doing would be playing through Fallout 4, but doing one of the alternative uh, fan-made intros like Depravity or Project Valkyrie. And got our voice actors there. <clears throat> and oh yeah, Stephen Bloom was also the voice of uh, Magnum Opus and Kokino. And the Parrot, oddly enough. I think this was one of his uh, first major roles before he became super famous for Cowboy Bebop and doing voice acting and everything else. And, uh... But, uh, yeah, overall, like I said, Quest for Glory 5, for all of its issues, it is still a Quest for Glory game, and it could have been much, much worse. 
Uh, all things considered. I mean, the fighting system is glitchy as all heck, as you saw. The final battle is problematic. And they just plain did not uh, think about that, whoa, what if the thief doesn't wind up with Noir? And in fact, it wasn't even until they put out the final patch that the thief could even uh, become king. There was no option for becoming king and the chief thief. It was just assumed, eh, screw being king, I want to be the chief thief. But, uh, you know, it's good to be the king. As Millbrook said. And, oh yes, they actually had a contest for the monster, which I apologize for not letting us get the chance to see the monsters. But yes, all the fans who flood our executives' email accounts make Quest 45 possible. Also to Ken Williams and all the other Yosemites. Yosemite, Yosemite Entertainment and Develop People. And finally, a special thank you to the spouses and families who sacrificed their own time with their loved ones, giving undaunted support in allowing the talented anime group of developers the opportunity to create Quest for Glory 5, Dragonfire, Calimera. And you can uh, still get the soundtrack, which, you know, the soundtrack is one of the best parts about this game. I don't think that site or the number work anymore, but... I think you can still purchase it online from certain websites, uh, SoundCloud and whatnot. But yeah, thank you again for joining me, and I'll see you at the next adventure. <laughs>